What's up guys, today we're gonna rent a land from XL Games and we're gonna see if we can actually come up on this rent or if it would be better to just buy a land. So we got 352 BSLT at the current price. That was about $200. So we're about to see if this $200 investment can pay off here. So you can see when you find NFT item leasing authority public that this is going to be rented out by xl games if you can find an nft owner that's not utilizing their land you're probably going to get this at around 180 170 bslt so you can save a little bit of money i didn't want to really look around right now and renting from xl games you can't get kicked off your land the tenant has the full authority to re-sign the lease agreement for the contract but with an actual landlord from an NFT holder, they can change that property to private at any time and you finish out your 28 days and you're done for. You gotta find a new land, all your stuff on there goes back in your inventory. So you can proceed with the lease by paying your rent. After signing the rental contract, you may use the lot for four weeks. Would you like to proceed? So we got the start date and the end date. And it's all in Chinese, looks like it's backwards. So this is September and that's October. Let's go show you how to put a tent down. Hit N or go to the blue salt shop down in the bottom right. Now this is refundable. This blueprint is refundable. So your 150 BSLT, you can get that back if you sell it back to the Bruce blue salt brotherhood. You come down to the convenience here and you can see that the marketplace mail has sent the blueprint tent. Just click on receive. Crops planted on gardens and farms and housing areas are safe and can't be stolen. Oh, that's good. They're safe and cannot be stolen, guys. Well, that is very good to know. All right, guys, in order to start building this tent, you're going to need four of these 10 construction materials, which you can get at the general merchant like we talked about. But you want to go to remodel. From here, you can pick the tent style you want. You can kind of see a little bit of a blueprint in here and some uh, features that it has. Looks like they're all the same, though. Just gives a different look to the tent. I'm gonna go ahead with this one right here. Let's just confirm this. Go ahead and click G. Here's an important tip while we're building this. You can check the zone you're in and the climate. So I'm in a temperate zone out here in the Rookborn Basin. But each one of these has a different climate that you can see that this one is a tropical let's see what this looks like so I'm gonna be utilizing logs because the logs in uh, the pine trees they grow in this temperate zone let's go get a bed and an archaeum bench that's the first thing you want to put down just show you this real quick you can see the adaptable climate is temperate so I'm just gonna be planting a lot of trees I would like plant this but it's in a dry climate I don't really think it really matters um, it's just gonna produce a little bit more when you harvest it good thing about the mines is that it allows any climate it's adaptable to all of them all right let's go ahead and check out this bed in here we're just gonna go ahead and place that right there. Oh, we have the bed for labor and we have the Archeum bench for Archeum. And then here I can go ahead and plant some trees. It uses incomplete Archeum shards. That's this one right here, which sell for pretty cheap on the marketplace. Make sure you do have a little bit of BSLT left over. Or if you just want to farm these yourself, that's totally fine too. You can totally farm incomplete Archeum shards. Uh, you get them from the noble coin purses. You can turn 500 Archeum dust into incomplete Archeum shards just by right clicking on it. 
it does use some labor looks like it uses about six labor and then to utilize your archeum workbench it is going to cost 270 labor you get this at the general merchant and this is how you can craft labor potions thank goodness it does not cost archeum in order to do that that's going to finish this video up. I'm going to do a follow-up video in a few days and see how profitable this is. We're going to try to earn back that 300-something BSLT. Make sure you come over here, follow us on the Juice Gaming team. We keep you up to date on the latest and greatest in blockchain gaming. And the Juice Gaming news drops daily, hourly news, I should say. Every hour, it's dropping news. This is amazing and I actually learn new stuff from this every day. So our team running this stuff behind the scenes is amazing. I give them a lot of props. Good job, guys. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Thanks for sticking around.